Hello, I'm Tim Nichols, and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Word. Today, we are featuring the NRSV Single Column Reference Bible Premier Collection put out by Zondervan. And basically, if you have ever seen a Premier Collection Bible, you know exactly what to expect with this. You expect top quality, really nice paper, and a fantastic cover. Now, the NRSV is more of an ecumenical translation, so some of your, your terms are going to be translated a little more liberally to kind of fit a larger group, but it is still an accurate and a good translation. It reads smoother for an older translation, which is kind of nice. I've read uh, a good chunk of Genesis out of this, just out of, out of this particular Bible, and I've rather enjoyed it. But anyhow, you'll notice it has the paper cover, it's kind of protected from falling around in the box and getting beat up. And of course, as you expect, with the Premier Collection Bible, it has a beautiful spine with one, two, three, four, five raised hubs, gold stamp. This is one thing that Zondervan just really just crushes is the ribbon game. Those are three beautiful three-eighths inch nylon ribbons, purple, silver, and gold. And you just you just can't beat the goatskin cover on this thing. It's just I can't imagine there's a better cover in existence. The liner. It's got a nice uh, like leather liner, really soft and floppy. It's got your gold perimeter, as all perimeter collection does. Fantastic corners, nice edge lining. One knock against this Bible, and I don't even know if it really can be considered a knock because it is so thick, is that it does struggle a little bit to lay flat in the beginning. You can see it kind of does, but I'm in Leviticus and it's humping way up. Once you get into Genesis, you can see it's wanting to kind of fall open. So you're going to have to work with that a little bit. But over time, I feel that'll work out. It is a 10.5 point font in comfort print, single column paragraph format. So this thing is going to be super easy to read. I love the fact that the cross references are on the page edges. So it gives you kind of a uniform boxed look here. I don't, uh, the poetic books kind of bother me because they can be all over the place. But I love this boxy look. So if you're going to have a single column reference Bible, this is definitely the way to do it. Another thing that really stands out in this Bible is the beautiful art gilding. Check out that purple. I mean, I've just never seen anything that pretty. And then when you close it up, it turns to the gold. It's just like stunningly beautiful. So several advantages to a Bible of this type. Number one, you're going to have your comfort print. It's going to be easy to read. It's a 10.5 font. It's a very smooth reading translation. I've read a good chunk of Genesis out of this particular Bible. It's got your beautiful ribbons. It's got everything you would want in a premium. If I could suggest one thing that I think could improve this Bible is I would have included the Apocrypha. There is an Orthodox audience and there is a Catholic audience that is really hungry for a premium Bible. And this was a golden opportunity in the NRSV because it actually includes the Apocrypha. I understand that the Protestant audience generally is more of your purchasers and consumers of Bibles, but there is a contingency of Catholics and Orthodox that would buy this up if you would provide it. Now, another little thing that I want to point out, it has, it has its decorative little top right here. And also, whenever you're at the beginning of a book in the Bible, it kind of gives you a space. Let me see if I can get to one. Let's go to the beginning of Mark here. And you have kind of your header here just to kind of introduce your book. Got a little decorative line. And this is a black letter text. It does have some footnotes on the bottom, your translational footnotes. Uh, it also comes with a concordance in the back. Some maps. So... Really nice double column for the concordance. This thing is sharp. And this does not come out until October 2nd, but you can pre-order it now. If you pre-order it from Christian Book, it's about $135. So not bad for what you get. And uh, man, this thing is pretty. So look at that again, just one more time. Man, check it out. Wow, it smells great. This is your nickel's worth. Keep calm, Jesus on.